And we are back. You are chatting with John P. Today, we are going to be talking about the absolute biggest scam in watch history. I can't believe it. I'm a bit ashamed for this scenario, how it unfolded. It's kind of silly, but at the same time, embarrassing. And I know the watch community is up in arms about this one. Um, and we'll talk about that. But first, I'd like to thank you for coming back for another episode. I really do appreciate it. Do not forget to like and subscribe. It really does help me. Here's the thing, guys. YouTube has been changing their algorithm. And it's fair to say that a lot of content creators that spend a lot of time, you know, creating content for you, not only in the watch industry and in the music industry and all the other industries, uh, they're, they're, YouTube is switching things up a lot and they're heavily weighting the likes, the subscribes, the thumbs up, and it's not necessarily just about the content. And it's unfortunate, but you know, by helping out here, it really does help me keep making content for you. And guys, at DelrayWatch.com, we have a bunch of cool new watches that we just got in on my wrist today. I, <laughs> I actually have nothing. It's Monday here. So many things are flying around in the office and I was trying on a few things, <laughs> I'll admit. So nothing on my wrist, I'm also embarrassed about this. And you can find me on Instagram, the real John P, where I do my best to respond to as many of you as possible and the comments, things you'd like to see in the future, I do go through it. So let's talk about this scam. Now I say scam loosely, we'll let you decide. I'll tell you the facts and then you can decide in the comments below if it's a scam. So Odell Beckham Jr. Now, if you go on the watch blogs, you're on the internet, you watch YouTube with watches, and maybe you know about sports, maybe you don't, you know about this guy, Odell Beckham Jr., and basically he is a football player with the Cleveland Browns. Now, I'm originally from Cleveland. I'm born and raised in the Cleveland area, so this one hits especially close to home, literally, um, if, if you know what I mean. But basically, he's a Browns player, and he was spotted some time ago wearing a Richard Mille RM113 McLaren on his wrist. Now, watch guys were saying, why would you do that? You're going to break it. And then, you know, people were kind of justifying it by saying, oh, well, it's super tough and it's durable. So this watch, which is pictured here, you had to buy a certain McLaren when it originally came out, but ultimately they opened it up to anyone that could get their hands on it. And Richard Mill is difficult sometimes and a lot of times to get your hands on it. So anyone could have bought it if you had, you know, the connections and the money for a while. And apparently he did. So he was spotted, he was wearing it um, on the field and there was a bit of an uproar about that. Next, in another kind of scenario, he was spotted with a different Richard Mille. So after the media exploded, showed him wearing this thing, everyone said, hey, this guy's a huge watch buff and look at him. He has this awesome watch that many of us would love to have, I'm absolutely geeking over. He was spotted with an RM56-1, but there are some, some guys out there that kind of looked at the pictures and matched it up, including Watch Anish, and basically it was a fake watch because if it were real, the retail price was $2 million. People are saying, what is he blowing? Knowing like, you know, a tenth of his contract on a watch that he's going to beat up on the football field, field, it didn't really make a whole lot of sense. And so it was kind of proven by Watch Anish and some of the other guys on the forums and on the internet that he was wearing a fake watch. So now the watch community was, was almost mad, right? It's, you know, when the watch community kind of bands up and gets behind certain celebrities as watch guys like John Mayer, Ed Sheeran, there was, there was some promise in this guy. Now, we're talking about gossip here, but that's just the way I see it. The online communities, the media, right? All the writers that have to write about these stories and articles, they hope to catch something. Like, this is the new watch guy. And, unfortunately, he had a fake. So that was that. Now, um, when he was questioned about his watch, he mentioned something about Daniel Wellington would have been better than Richard Meal, and no one thought a whole lot about it until a couple of days ago when, basically, guess what happens? He is announced by Daniel Wellington as being the newest Daniel Wellington partner and spokesperson. Now, many people said, oh, well... You know, he probably just got this sudden notoriety in the watch community and now he's going to take advantage of it. Nope, not the case because if you look at his pictures, he has longer hair in the photographs with the Daniel Wellington watch, which means that he was already under contract with Daniel Wellington and had already created all the media and everything they were going to do before he did this. So what does this mean? This means this was planned, this was planned by both him and Daniel Wellington and people that know the watch community. Now, who's in on this? 
I don't know. We can only say for sure, certainly, that he's in on it, and so is Daniel Wellington. But they would have had to know about the Richard Meals, what's going to catch the watch, where are his eyes, how to guarantee to get him into Hodinkee and the other magazines. So people would have to know that. Someone with r rich, intimate knowledge of this industry would have to know that. And... It's just unbelievable, right? Because everyone bought into it. The media led everyone down the certain path. And I can talk all day about uh, how media likes to influence the minds of readers and things, not in the watch industry, because this is fun and games, but in the real world as well. And it just goes to show that in this, you know, tiny piece of the world and news, what goes on here and everyone followed down the rabbit hole, the lemmings. Including myself, I thought he was a watch guy when I saw the Richard Mill uh, McLaren on the wrist. And no, he's not. He's sold out. It's all a scam. So it's 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 some food for thought, right? What do you think about this, guys? I want to hear what you think about this in the comments below. Do you think it's a scam? Do you think that you know maybe it was just some fancy or creative marketing? In my head, I just imagine a couple of guys, you know, some some lazy watch geeks paired up with a consulting firm with Daniel Wellington out there somewhere on the West Coast, completely high out of their mind, giggling like, "Oh, wouldn't it be crazy, man, if we just got in a room and like, you know, tricked the whole watch community, man, and like did all this?" I this is just how I I picture it because. In a million years, if someone approached me and said, hey, come up with some crazy marketing plan for Daniel Wellington to get them in the hands of, of you know, discerning watch collectors, I never would have thought that would have worked, right? At first, I can't believe so many people even covered that he was wearing the McLaren. Now, I can't believe that he wore a fake watch after having a real Richard Mille on his wrist. What is that all about? I, and, and people bought into this. They read more and more. I don't think it's going to work long term. I, I just don't see it. Now that people in the watch community, and I get a lot of feedback, I talk with what people high up in the watch community, people kind of feel cheated and like it's a cheap shot and in that it is a scam. Do you think this is going to work, guys? Leave in the comments below. Are people going to think that Daniel Wellington is on par or better than Richard Mule because this, this Browns player says it? What do you think? Are you going to buy a Daniel Wellington? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. You can find me on Instagram, the real John P. Delray Watch. You have been chatting with John P. Ciao.